Hey everyone, Reclaimer here. What is all this stuff, you may ask? Well, my friends, this is a Synology Disk Station DS918 Plus Network Attached Storage, otherwise known as a NAS, with an additional RAM module upgrade and 16 terabytes of storage. We're going to be going ahead and setting this up today. Let's get started. So what we're looking at today is setting up the Synology DS918 Plus uh, as a NAS device to do mainly my Plex Media Server library, uh, but some other things too like automatic backup. So quickly unboxing, we get uh, our AC adapter, uh, power cord, the adapter block itself. We get um, some hardware, screw mounting hardware, keys, little plastic keys to lock your drive bays, and two small patch cables, which is important because this NAS features dual gigabit ethernet uh, ports on the back so you can do uh, link aggregation. And then we have the NAS enclosure itself. So we'll go ahead and take this out now. Kind of hard for me to do because I'm holding my phone, so we'll take it out. So here we are, folks, the Synology DS918+. Plus. We will do just a, a quick overview of the uh, the enclosure itself. So there are four drive bays here, which can be locked. These are currently unlocked. And if you pull up on the tab, the bay slides out. You can go ahead and mount your drive, place it in. We have a variety of LED status lights here uh, for each disc, a single USB 3.0 port, a power port. Let me take a look. If I can do this with one hand. Around the back, we have dual fan cooling fans. We have dual gigabit ethernet. We have uh, an eSATA port, your power in, Kensington lock, and another USB 3.0 port. So one of the things you can actually do with this, a couple cool things you can do with this amongst other things. This eSATA port here, you can connect a Synology uh, extension enclosure, and you can add an additional five drives to your four drive NAS, giving you a total of nine drives. And of course, depending on how you set it up, whether it's Synology hybrid RAID or any particular RAID system that you're gonna have set up, uh, will kind of dictate what drives are used for what. Having the dual gigabit ethernet here is gonna be nice because you can do link aggregation uh, and boost your throughput, which is really nice. And of course, uh, USB, 3.0 ports. I've heard of people using things like, uh, uh, you know, NUX or, or Raspberry Pis and stuff to kind of run like Plex Media Server, where the device connected to USB 3.0 does the transcoding, and uh, this, of course, is just data storage. So for now, I'm going to be using this just for data storage, and I'll be using my gaming PC here as a transcoder, but we don't know if we're going to keep it like that forever, especially if I noticed uh, that the transcoding, when it's being done, is taxing my gaming computer. But this just gives you a better overview. It's not really a big, uh, big system. So that's kind of nice. And then if we kind of take a look over here, we have four, four terabyte Western Digital red NAS hard drives. Never in my life did I think I would hold 16 terabytes of data in my hands. Um, but I know a lot of people out there have even more than that, but 16 is, I think, the sweet spot for me right now. My Plex library is probably only going to take up about six, maybe seven gig uh, terabytes. So um, what I am going to do is I'm probably going to use either Synology Hybrid RAID or RAID 5, which are kind of the same thing, but apparently Synology does it a little better for most consumers. So um, effectively, one of these drives is going to be used for redundancy. Three of these drives will be used for storage. And then finally, we have a memory upgrade. So the DS918 Plus comes with four gigabytes of memory. I'm going to go ahead and upgrade it to eight gigabytes of memory. You are able to put a maximum of, I believe, eight gigabytes in this NAS enclosure. One thing I didn't mention about this NAS enclosure, let's see if we can do it without me breaking anything. I don't know if you can see this here, but you can do dual M2 SSD installations for 
caching only. So you can't use the SSDs for additional storage, but what you can do is actually use it as caching to uh, increase your speeds. So I don't necessarily think I plan on doing that. I don't really think I'm gonna do anything too intense with this other than backups and Plex Media storage, but you never know, it is nice to have it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and install my drives and then we're gonna hook it up, power it on, and set up Synology Disk Station Manager. This thing is like 10 times heavier with the hard drives in it. So all three hard drives here are in, and then we have this last hard drive. I just wanted to show you, I didn't even really need those screws. Um, there's two things that pop off here on the side. You put the drive in, you clip them back in place, and now the drive is in the sled. And then all you have to do, slide it in, and push. And that's it, they're all in. We'll take the little nifty key here. Drives are in, we're gonna go ahead and power it on. And the next thing I'll do is I'll show you the uh, Synology Disk Manager setup. So here we are setting up the NAS interface here uh, using the Synology Quick Find feature. So once you find the NAS, you're going to go ahead and hit connect. And if you're setting it up for the first time, you're probably going to want to update uh, the software actually installing Disk Station Manager. So you can get that from the Synology website. Uh, so just go ahead and download the file from the Synology website. And once that's downloaded, you'll be able to go ahead and uh, import the file uh, into the setup wizard here and once you do that it's going to go ahead and start installing disk station manager and this could take a little bit of time when it's done you're going to have access to your 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 nas uh, so here you can see all of the drives they are installed they have the right sizes you can see the serial numbers you can see the thermal information which is pretty cool um, Nothing's been set up in an actual volume yet, so you can't really store files on the NAS until you set it up in an actual volume. So we're gonna go ahead and do that now by using this volume setup wizard. You have a couple different options to do that. You can select which disks that you wanna to add to the volume, what type of redundancy you wanna have set up. For our purposes today, we went ahead and just set it up in a Synology hybrid uh, RAID or SHR. Uh, this is pretty much akin to a RAID 5. So out of the 16 terabytes that I have, uh, 12 of those terabytes will be actually used for storage and the remaining four terabytes, so one disk, will be used for redundancy. This will take several minutes to set up, so you might want to just kind of set it and forget it. It took it about an hour to, to set up the disks appropriately. But while you're doing that, you can go ahead and you know play around with your settings, you know set up users, do whatever you'd want with that. You can go to the package center uh, and download any type of uh, software that you want to have installed on the NAS. And you can also kind of get started with creating uh, shared folders, which are going to be basically the top level uh, file structure of your NAS. So I went ahead and set up a shared folder for movies, for television, for backups. For pictures um, you can set it up however you'd like and once you create that shared folder you can actually start putting folders inside of that folder uh, so you can go ahead and really lay it out whatever you'd like you can take a look at some of the other settings as well um, you see how your CPU your RAM is doing uh, this is really a good time to kind of look in, and see what's going on in the NAS and just so you're aware you can get a full version of disk station manager as an online demo so definitely take some time to do that and, and that's really about it. This is uh, the disk station, uh, the DS918 Plus, uh, and how we set it up and how we started to provision it with Disk Station Manager. If you like the video, go ahead and like it. Comment if you have any questions. Until next time, this is Reclaimer. See you soon.